Love, light, greetings, gratitude, blessings and blessings, soul family. My divinity to yours. Welcome and welcome back. Thank you for your clicks and comments, your love, light, support, participation, appreciation, and for all the work that you are doing in caring, sharing, lifting and uplifting, working and weaving love across people and planet for this grand and great, glorious ascension. Thank you. Spirit, thanks you too. Today is the 8th of May, 2024, 858, Energy in Trinity, Co-Creation. I do this reading today as the addition to the reading done on the Invictus Games, but more importantly as clarification for the reading I did a day before when Prince Harry arrived in London for the Invictus meeting, which is being held today. In that reading, I asked how would Prince Harry feel to meet with his dad, the king, and of course the king. How would the king feel to meet with him? And we got various responses, but it overall looked quite good. At that time, the energy was picked up to determine their emotions. Right? It did not state clearly that they will meet. I did read... Um, in a report a day or two before that there is a chance a likely chance that there is a meeting they are keen to meet Harry is quite happy to do that and the King said of course um, his doors are always open however it seemed like a sudden change had taken place and the King no longer has the time in which to meet with Harry for a jam-packed schedule but what I find peculiar is in yesterday's reading we had two of the devil cards come up and we had the emperor card and I was like mm -mm. you know and at that time spirit did not say anything because again there is always free will what we say today can be changed tomorrow what we say now can be changed in five minutes um, even a minute later so possibly a lot was weighed and opted and decided and discussed that of course no we can't see him and again i find that quite disturbing because the bridge of this relationship the healing of this relationship is so very much needed and i think as a king as a ruler as a leader you would make every effort to be a bigger person regardless of what happened, as an adult, as a parent, um, even our kids are adults, it is important for you to be rising above that and extending the olive branch and making the time, even if it is a few minutes. His meeting, his arrival in the UK, Prince Harry's arrival here, was not sudden. It's been known for months. Right. So ideally, it doesn't look very good. I don't feel good about it. I was very happy for um, the fact that they would unite and, you know, discuss and try to make amends. But on the contrary, that is not happening. So there has to be a reason for that. And I don't feel it is just, I don't want to see him. I feel it is what he will pop possibly or probably ask about or inquire you know that he's still being so vilified and his book is still being used as the um, sour lemon in this instead of as a distraction I believe I feel instead of us trying to look past that and move forward all right so divine spirit of light you know the reason of, for the meeting. You know the reason we're here. I ask you please to settle in. 
I invoke, invite and welcome your energy to protect, to love, to share, to guide, to heal, to embrace. Myself, the space, the energy, the channel and everyone listening to open their hearts, their minds, their consciousness and to breathe in your love and light and expression, your healing and protection. Thank you. Please bring through the energy of the King, King Charles III and Prince Harry. And I ask you to bring the messages as clearly as possible. Thank you. I am feeling a very sharp, piercing abdominal pain. And I did not get this feeling in my earlier video. It's as if it has come from nowhere. It's a very similar pain that I experienced in the previous video as well. in almost the identical place in the abdomen. So what I gathered from this is sudden, sharp, piercing, direct, very much like a Knight of Swords energy, a Ten of Swords energy, which is the energetic vibration of the tension and the difficulty um, and the mental state between what is happening at this time. At the bottom of this deck is the Nine of Swords. You can see there's a lot of mental anguish and upheaval and um, a lack of clarity and questioning and trying to work things out in your head. There's stress, anxiety could be depression, overwhelming, overactive mind, um, a race for time in the mind and trying to sort things out. So this deck is the deck chosen for the first question, which is to reveal King Charles' feeling towards Prince Harry at this time. So clearly he had given a lot of thought about this meeting and has an agenda that cannot fit Harry in for even just a few minutes. Spirit show us, Divine Spirit, reveal King Charles's feeling towards Prince Harry at this time. Um, specifically regarding his arrival in the UK and of course um, his desire to have met the King but he is unwilling at this time due to a very busy schedule, etc. How is he feeling towards Prince Harry? Okay, we have temperance, we have judgment, and we have the nine of coins. Temperance. I think a lot of thought was given into this to try and weigh the options to reconcile to remedy this um, a lot of patience was given to this which clearly it didn't work out it couldn't come into fruition for whatever the options were being decided what if he asks that or what if he wants to look at that or Maybe he didn't even want to ask or look at anything, you know, I'm assuming, but there is a probability that he would have said, you know, how is William and how is Catherine doing and how are the children? Is there a possibility I can visit them? So it's rather we take that all out of the way and say that the king in the nine of coins, I am very busy. I've got to focus on my schedule and I've taken on so much and I've come out of um, an absence and very busy at this time. I feel that's 
That's what it's showing here. But let's have a look and see. The Hierophant has fallen. We have the Four of Wands that also flipped over. So yes, him making the decision about his schedule and what is important for him to do. Making those type of um, decisions for the, for the greater good of, of his um, diary and commitments. So this is the message that clearly was portrayed, that he has a very busy schedule and he's meeting the Prime Minister, etc. And the call about this, the stability of the family, right, this is what I want to question. What else? A whole lot of cards. Putting up boundaries, right, um, for his own independence, fencing things out, keeping what he wants in, right, um, keeping a one-track mind basically. He's shutting everything out. Does not want things to come to light. Mm. He's worried about what would come out, what would happen from this meeting. Look at the cards beneath that. The death card. The conflict. The difficulty. He's worried about that. He's worried about the challenges that he will face if something untoward had to be found out. Five of Swords, Battle, Conflict, War. You see, this is all a... The agenda is different. It is not what it seems. This is what is being projected, that he has a lot of work to do. Right, let's leave that there. So he's put up a resistance. He's put up a fence. He's decided that he will do what pleases him, and he doesn't want to have to handle Harry's questioning. You see, that um, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck was the concern about this that's on the table. The Death card, the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Hermit is Harry's card, you see. Um, what does Harry want to know? He's going to ask questions, you know, he wants to understand things and they don't want to talk about it. You see, this card follows the death card. So he wants to know, right? He wants to know. That's how it is up here. He wants to know something. They don't want to reveal it. So to prevent all of that, there is an avoidance. The four card was the bottom card, but I've already started shuffling. So the four card is the opportunity, you know, to to be here and to connect with Charles, the father, um, and perhaps other members of the family, but he's denied that. So show us Prince Harry's feelings toward King Charles at this time, arriving in the UK. What is Harry's feelings? Knight of Cups. Harry was welcoming this open heartedly. Oh, he was looking forward to this. He was he was looking forward to this being a lovely um, time of uniting or reconnecting or meeting um you know associating um, 
finding out how his dad is doing, finding out how things are, you know, just a time of reconciliation, recalibration, just to touch base even, you know, he was very happy for extending his hand, um, extending his olive branch out and looking forward to this um, gallop into the country and um, into the UK with open arms, with an open heart. So straight away we see that he was ready. He was ready to try and do this. He was ready to do this, you know. King of Cups, he was ready to approach his dad. He was ready to make the step. He was very happy to do it. Well, he is. And I think if, if anything could change now, he would be glad to go and, and see him. You know, he would even um, change his flight if he had to delay. the world this would have meant the world to harry in a literal sense he's come across halfway the world to do this to be in the land that he was born in the country he was born and he is denied this opportunity and this is very sad it has hurt his world it's like i've come in completeness nakedness in transparency and he was hoping for something good he was he was hoping for this this is the major card this is the last card in the major arcana and for him this is a number 21 card and that is the energy of trinity if you reduce it to a single digit this was the start and end and everything between for him it meant a lot magician and the fool All right so he was hoping this would be a magical new beginning when i say magical in a in a metaphorical sense meaning something happy and cheerful and delightful and you know unbelievable and a good surprise and all of that wonderful feeling of um, manifesting this for such a long time you know from his last visit to now I think he was here sometime in February and it was known that he's coming in May. So there's a long time to have made time, created time for him and he was excited about it. He was looking forward to this. Um, all that light in him, that excitement in him to, to do this and if one zero becomes ten, you know, that would be the absolute new beginning energy the completion the, the ten of pentacles the ten of cups um you know family un unity happiness and joy fulfillment this would have given him a lot you know i feel um he was so looking forward to this Anything else? Um, at the bottom, it didn't fall, but I was able to see it. Usually I don't see the bottom card because I'm shuffling, unless something flips. But the, the deck, in fact, just tilted in my hand to show me the five of cups. This has saddened Harry. This has made him emotionally... Um, I wouldn't say depressed, it's not depressed him, but it is a hollow feeling, a, a sad feeling. It's it's kind of, you know, um, 
a slip you've had your 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 joy and excitement and you just get that moment where you hear something and and everything just slips it stops it's such a drop of energy you know it's it's not a good feeling for him so it has affected him in a way the wheel of fortune this would have been a very fortunate opportunity for him to be having that meeting to be with um, the king to even a little time spirit says you know these are like the hands of the clock showing even just a little time he would have been very happy and that is the truth that is the absolute truth that would have been a breakthrough for him a victory you know to be able to there's the olive branch look at that and there's the crown and the sword of truth any more but unfortunately he'll have to leave sad at the bottom is the eight of cups turning away and leaving unfulfilled leaving it behind again for whenever else um, another opportunity would come through see one more and let's move on to the final question yeah you see there's the eight a restriction he was restricted he was prevented there was nothing he could do to change this anymore right he tried he tried with the chariot the devil right he has to leave knowing that he was snubbed he was avoided um there was a restriction he he could not go beyond the limit of maybe asking again and again he had to just accept what was he didn't want any more conflict right he could have tried he doesn't want to go up in arms so he's got to accept what is and move away right and leave but his journey here was victorious clearly the narrative has been controlled by a darker energy there's nothing he can do all right thank you And the last question, we have the death card at the bottom, we have the star, we have the ace of wands. It could have been something good, but this is the concern. You see, not announcing some critical ending. Right? This could have been a good meeting, a wish fulfilled. Something that they all could have celebrated in the Three of Cups. It's a good time, right? But action was taken to prevent this. This wish from being fulfilled, this meeting. Right? They had to make this decision um, after weighing a lot of options. So it was... It's not just about the, the jam-packed schedule. We can see this was going in another direction. All right, so my last question is, reveal the reason why the king could not make time to see Harry, even just a few minutes. Reveal the real reason, the truth. We have two of pentacles. 
juggling, trying to find balance, trying to figure it out. Right, time management, indecision. So he's indecisive. He's trying to fit or cram a, a, a really packed schedule so that he would have a good excuse possibly to say, sorry, I can't see you. I'm too busy. There's too many things going on. So um, now it's impressed as if he's so busy that he cannot um, even spare five minutes. What else? What is the real reason? Show us. The chariot. Going ahead with that type of a decision making that a priority um, that he is too busy um, engaged in very important meetings that he's got to go ahead with that cannot be delayed that he is of um, a far greater uh, energy of prestige and power meeting powerful people you know so that's what is going ahead instead So that's the energy he's, he's put through. Show us more. We have the Ten of Cups, which is a family card. Right, so why is the Ten of Cups here? That's a happy card. Temperance again. Trying to balance things, okay, this is what it is, right? Having to keep the future king and his family out of this. So he tried to weigh the options because they knew that there would be a question about this family. So the king had to remedy things by inducing a packed schedule as a distraction and go ahead with what his schedule is about what else You see this card is the Nine of Swords, right? This was at the bottom of the first deck. So this is the problem. They're very worried and very concerned about the questions and how they will deal with having to answer those questions. So they will rather prevent it than have to face it. Right? This is the big worry here. So if he comes over, He's going to ask. And that's the avoidance they rather have. Um, right. The magician is down. The high priestess is down. The knight of swords. Right. Slow him down. Do not let him come in at speed to find anything out. Slow him down. There's in hangman mode. We cannot tell the secrets. We cannot divulge the secrets. Right. The empress in the world. It involves a woman. Right. A mother. We know about that. That would be world news. So it's hidden from the world. So they didn't want all of this falling down like that in front of their face, in front of their um, anybody else that is around. Right at the bottom is the Hierophant energy. And we have the King of Cups. So we can see that this is what he was doing. He was trying to save this family. 
like this family. We have from this problem. The cards are a big mess on the table because it fell down like that. Right, but they want to hide it. They want to hide the information with the high priestess, hidden knowledge. Let's hide it. We can't let him know. What if he takes it out to the world? Right. So they took the decision. He took the decision at a higher level. The king. To avoid Harry. Not to have this meeting. Anything else, Bert? Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Right. They took the decision unexpectedly, hastily, so that they could stop him from coming in to visit, making a stop. Because they know he's going to fire questions at them. He's going to be shooting questions at them. You know, it would not be as if he's sitting there um, um, in a sense of, um, I am here to know what is going on, or um, tell me everything I need. That's not what, how he would present himself. It would be out of love and concern that he would say, you know, how is William? How are the children? Um, can I visit the children? It was Charlotte and Louis' birthday. I'd probably have a gift for them. Maybe he'd have to leave it behind, you know. Um, but they know that he would ask. He would not keep quiet. So their decision to prevent this meeting was sudden. Maybe they thought he would give up and not want to see the king. But he doesn't give up. He doesn't give up. He, he was very looking forward to meeting the king. That would make him very happy. For him it was such a... It would have been a, a real magical time in his heart. His heart would have felt very good. They had an agenda. Alright, in closing spirit, anything else? Strength. Strength. It takes a lot of strength for Harry to deal with this. They didn't want the lion in the den with them. You see, they're afraid of his courage, his bravery. They're afraid of um, his fearless height. And his heart says something, he sticks to it. So he's got feeling with question, and that's what they're afraid of, his um, I think just his presence. Spirit says his presence. His presence is large. It's big. It it raises the hair on their hand, kind of energy. You know, it's. I'm being shown that if he's around, um, it just shifts energy dynamically. All right, let us leave it there and we pray for Harry's protection and for him to be successful in whatever he's doing and to depart in peace, in love and light and may the universe continue to, to hold him in the highest vibration for all that he intends to do from a hearted space and may anything that is untoward surrounding him be returned to sender immediately
and at the same time I do send light to the cane and I ask you to do the same thing please send him light so that he awakens he sees things differently and feels differently and does not have to be so influenced and if he needs to make amends he needs to make amends well, for you a lot of us know there is really no soul consciousness in this energy but for the sake of Harry not knowing a reality of that um, a physical means of contact will pacify his heart and allow him to heal I love you I bless you I thank you till next